Restoration Foundation, the Coastal Advocacy Committed to the Conservation, Restoration, and Protection of Coastal Wetlands. I want to first commend uh, Mr. President and um, Your Excellency specifically for bringing this road to fruition. And um, I'm just going to ask two questions. Uh, the road is going to be very impactful, opening the entire southern part of Nigeria and linking it to northern Nigeria. And apart from this sector one, which is impacting a lot of urban areas, a lot of buildings, we are soon going to approach sector two, three, four, and five, which is going to be er 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 erasing large swaths of mangrove forest, large swaths of uh, biodiversity rich areas, which may not have project affected persons like we see here. So my question and appeal at the same time is that the federal government, through your good office, considers the ecosystem services that this road is going to erase from the map of Nigeria and the services that they provide and create more like a trust fund or a restoration plan to replant the trees, replant the mangroves, you know, protect as much as possible our eustories and the eco services that, you know, will be destroyed by this road. Secondly, noted. Noted. Secondly, uh, secondly is the um, carbon footprint of this project. I'm glad that the contractors uh, at the last engagement with them are considering ESG in this project. But we don't want this to be more like a rape on the environment after the commercials have been done. And so with the carbon footprint of this project, uh, we are asking as a question and then an appeal. I know we may not be able to get answers here, but we will engage the ministry, engage the contractor further, that the cement we are using uh, for this project is going to be impacting on our climate um, emissions. And so it's important that this project has a, apart from a human face, paying compensation, has a climate conscious face. So we, we applaud the project and we ask that as we are paying compensation to people, we should consider communities that are being wiped away, their cultural heritage, displacement, ecosystem services as part of this project's um, um, impact mitigation measures. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you. You know, the federal government is like an oil pipe and everybody has a straw trying to suck it you know, to suck it. This your questions is trying to suck it. You know, suck it. <laughs> we have ESIA, and the ESIA is ESIA, you know, Environmental Impact Assessment. And it's been done by professionals. And it's also been sent to the international, you know, funders. And so, Everything is being considered under this ESIA. Another good benefit of this project is the carbon credit. We are not using a, um, diesel to um, you know, power the street light. We are using solar. So I've told the ESIA to make case for carbon credit to the benefit of federal government. And uh, you talk about the concrete. Concrete and the... Uh, um, Asphalt. Asphalt has heat problem and it's not friendly to the environment. So we are going to make, you know, claims, you know, by the use of concrete road, which has less heat effect, you know. So the concrete is not heating the ecosystem as much as the asphalt. So it is all within ESIA and to the credit of the federal government. So the pipe, you know, your straw should look for another place to suck it. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, Your Excellency, sir. The Honorable Minister. I'm from Okwanja. I'm the youth, lit youth leader of Okwanja community. Let, let me also announce that yesterday we were alerted by